Ivan cut caps off busy day by lighting the menorah with Jared and the kids on the seventh night of Kanaka. The Kushners posed for a sweet family photo to celebrate the seventh night of Kanaka on Tuesday. Ivan cut Trump had a white Peter Pan collar peeking out at the top of her outfit, complete with a pair of opaque black tights. The first daughter, 36, tied her blonde tresses back and away from her face as she cradled Theodore, one, in her arms. She captioned the adorable photo the seventh night of Hanuka. Arabella, six, took center stage in the cute family picture as she spread her arms wide with a big grin plastered on her face. Gerald held their other son Joseph, four, in his arms as he proudly posed next to his wife of the years. Kanaka, which means dedication and is also known as Hanuka, begins on the 25th day of the Jewish month of Kislev and lasts for eight days. Since her move to Washington at the beginning of the Trump administration, Ivanka has spoken very little about her conversion to Judaism before she married Jared. Despite this Ivanka has been very active on Instagram with regards to her faith, as she has shared several festive pictures over the past week. Additionally, she joined the rest of her family including her husband and children at the White House to celebrate an especially special Kanaka on December 7. Meanwhile earlier today Ivanka was pictured leading Fox and Friends this morning in an all-new outfit, and smiled at the few passers-by who had gathered to witness her exit. The senior White House advisor wore a form-fitting blue dress and kept her hair down in a slip below dry during the interview, which focused on the GOP's proposed tax plan. By the time she left Fox's studios in New York City's Midtown, Ivanka appeared to have completely changed her clothes, and cut an all-black silhouette save for a few details. She waked as she exited the studios and walked towards her parked car, and acknowledged the handful of children and adults who were taking her photo nearby. Ivanka appeared to be in a sunny disposition, perhaps excited to be back in her hometown of New York City, which she left for Washington, D.C. After her father became president and she and her husband Jared Kushner, 36, both took on senior roles in his administration. Fox's headquarters in New York City are located just a 13-minute walk away from Trump Tower, where Ivanka's brand opened a new store just last week. During her interview on Fox and Friends this morning, Ivanka said Republicans are on track to approve tax cuts before Christmas. In business, until it's done it's not done, but we feel very, very confident, so the momentum is there. We're very excited, she said. When the vote is done, we'll be done but we're going to deliver historic tax reforms, and it's going to happen before Christmas. The president's daughter has had a heavy hand in framing the GOP's tax reform plan is beneficial to the middle class and pushing through a large increase in the child tax credit. She traveled across the country, appearing at public events, and made several trips to Capitol Hill. After reaching the deal Friday, Republican lawmakers now plan to approve tax legislation in the House on Tuesday and the Senate on Wednesday. It's gonna be the fulfillment of an enormous campaign promise, and something that's just tremendously important for the American people, Ivanka said Monday. So we feel it. This is something the people of this country want. That several turns the bill was nearly derailed, with Florida Senator Marco Rubio saying he could not vote for the plan until the child tax credit was increased to the level he and other conservatives in the Senate had demanded. Senator Bob Corker at the same time said that he could vote for a bill that blows a new hole in the federal deficit. The Republican senators, John McCain and Ted Cochran, are battling health issues that have kept them out of Washington. Senator McCain has returned to Arizona for physical therapy and rehabilitation following a hospital state. He'll remain there until after the Christmas holidays. President Donald Trump said Sunday that he'd spoken to McCain's wife, Cindy and it was his understanding that the senator would fly to Washington if his vote was necessary. Vice President Mike Pence meanwhile delayed by several days a visit to the Middle East so he can preside over the Senate during the vote, in which he may need to act as tiebreaker. President Trump has been claiming for months that the overhaul would not only pass this year, but that it would be approved by December 25. He told reporters on Saturday as he departed for Camp David, this is going to be one of the greatest gifts for the middle-income people of this country that they've ever gotten for Christmas. The bill that Republicans released Friday evening keeps the seven existing tax brackets. It lowers the rates, however, on everyone, including the nation's wealthiest earners, and slashes corporate taxes from 35% to 21%.
corporate taxes will be permanently lowered, while individual rates will decrease for a period of less than 10 years. The temporary tax cut must be approved in 2025 or it will disappear. Another significant change to the code is a cap on state and local tax deductions of $10,000. Republicans claimed that middle-income Americans in high-tax state will save money nonetheless if they take the standard deduction, which is set to double to $12,000 for individual filers and $24,000 for couples. The child tax credit is also doubling to $2,000 after last-minute finagling, led by Rubio, $1,400 of which will be refundable. Touting the bill Monday on Fox, Ivanka said taxpayers want simplification. They want a tax code they can understand. They want lower corporate taxes and understand the benefit if they're, the companies they were for can invest in their workforces, invest in new equipment and ultimately lead to wage growth. Ivan Cutting Democrats The administration had attempted to bring on board for standing in the way of the bill's passage, responding to a prompt from Fox and Friends host Steve Dukey. We've had a lot of very productive conversations with Democrats, who I believe are intellectually there. Their hearts are there, but the party is not there, and the leadership's not there. And that is unfortunate, she said. But I'm hopeful with this really enormous and this win for the American people, we come into 2018 with such tremendous momentum that we galvanize support and cohesion, not only within the party, 